Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. We're gonna dive into a great side dish recipe, perfect for any holiday like Thanksgiving, Christmas, or even Easter, or just any regular everyday event. We're gonna dive into scalloped potatoes with ham. Here are the ingredients for scalloped potatoes with ham. Four cups of russet potatoes, cut one fourth of an inch thick, little bit of thyme to taste, roughly a teaspoon, dash of cayenne pepper, little bit of pepper to taste, tiny bit of salt, three tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of butter, one cup of diced ham, one cup of chopped onions, one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, half of a cup of milk, and one cup of cream. Grab a saucepan, crank up that heat to medium heat. We're gonna add a little bit of butter to this. Three tablespoons of butter, melt it down. We're gonna work with the sauce first. The sauce makes or breaks the scallop potatoes. If you don't do it right, you might have grainy or oily scallop potatoes, you don't want that. But this sauce, it's what holds the scallop potatoes together. Once the butter's melted, add one cup of diced onions. We're gonna sweat these guys. We don't need to brown them. We just wanna make these guys translucent and tender. Kind of bring out their flavors as well, but we're not gonna brown them. Making scalloped potatoes with a homemade cheese sauce is just so satisfying. It's so much better than that powdered stuff that you buy at the store. And it's really not that difficult to make. The onions are perfect. They're translucent, they're tender. Now we're gonna add some of the fresh thyme. It's roughly about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. We're just gonna throw it in, give it a quick stir. We just wanna add a little bit of flavor to it, bring out those flavors with the heat. And now we're gonna put in our three tablespoons of flour. We're making the roux. This is our thickening agent. This is gonna be what makes that cheese sauce nice and thick. Stir it around. Cook this for roughly about two minutes to get the flour taste out. Watch the heat, you don't wanna burn it. So if your heat's too high, turn it down just a tiny bit, maybe to medium low. You wanna slowly cook the flour taste out. Ah, the smell, the onions, the thyme. Oh, this is delicious. This is looking great. The roux is cooked. It's gotten that flour taste out. Now we're gonna add our liquids. First, we'll start off with half of a cup of milk. And then we'll throw in one cup of heavy cream. You can throw it all in at once. You don't have to put it in in increments. Give it a little bit of a stir. Get that roux off the bottom. Take that spatula, scrape the bottom and the sides of the pan. Make sure that you get it all up and incorporated into that liquid. Looks really good. Everything's incorporated. Now we want to bring this to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, it'll activate that roux, which will thicken up the sauce. Don't walk away because this will happen pretty quickly. But before we do, let's add a little bit of seasoning, a dash of salt, and a little bit of pepper to taste. Give it a mix. Perfect. Turn up that burner to medium. We want it to start to simmer. Once it starts to simmer, we can reduce the heat and we can add our cheese. Starting to get thicker. Okay, that's perfect. Check it out. I mean, that is thick. That's some thick stuff right there, folks. Look at that line test. Oh yeah. Okay, we're done. Turning off the heat. Now it's time to add our shredded cheddar cheese, one cup. Let this come to room temperature before you add it. That way it'll be less grainy whenever you mix it in. Give it a little bit of a stir. That looks great. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's good. Check it out. This is a sauce that'll make those scalloped potatoes super rich and creamy. We've made our cheese sauce, now let's throw it all together. Grab that baking dish and then smash that like button so that the algorithm shoots this video out to all those that might enjoy learning how to make scalloped potatoes and ham. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. 
And to thank you for your support, I'm going to show you a picture of a hungry hippo. Make sure that you grease the baking dish, grab a little butter, rub it around it. Don't put too much. If you put too much, it'll make everything greasy. So just enough to grease the sides so that everything doesn't stick. And then we can put a layer of our potatoes. I used russet potatoes, about four cups. I cut it one fourth of an inch thick, let it sit in a water bath for about five minutes, took it out, dried it out, and then it's ready to go into the baking dish. We'll put a layer of potatoes first. Doesn't have to be pretty. Then we'll put some of our cheese sauce. Give it a little bit of a mix and then dollop it on. Roughly about a third of it. And then try to scoop it and push it around. Doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to fit every nook and cranny of this layer. This is just the base layer. We're just getting it in there. Getting a little bit in. Now take a little bit of the ham, roughly about half of it. This is one cup total, so put about half a cup in. Then we'll put another layer of potatoes. Add a couple more spoons of the sauce. Get that incorporated in a little bit there. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of incorporating it in, getting it mixed around. A little bit more of that ham. And then finally put on the last layer of potatoes. Just throw it on. Then we'll add the remaining portion of our sauce. Just kind of pour it on. Kind of incorporate it in, smooth it on the top. Kind of pretend like it's a cake. You're icing that cake. Try to get every nook and cranny with this. Perfect. Throw on our remaining portion of ham, just kind of spread it around. Evenly distribute it. Little bit of cayenne pepper. You don't have to put this on there. It'll give it a little bit of a kick, but it's optional. I'm just putting a little dusting of cayenne pepper. Then we have half of a cup of shredded cheese, cheddar cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle it on the top. Just evenly distribute it. Perfect. So now we're ready to throw it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 50 minutes uncovered. You'll know whenever it's done, whenever it's nice and brown on the top and it's bubbly on the sides. Let's go. Check it out. Perfect. It's been in the oven for 50 minutes. Little bit of brown on the top, bubbly on the sides. Perfect. Let it sit and then you're ready to dive in. Thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Hope that you enjoyed this recipe on how to make scalloped potatoes with ham. If you're looking for additional side dish recipes, check out this macaroni and cheese recipe or click on this applesauce recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.